you looked disappointed, you know, because you didn't actually get to knock Diaz out, which would have been probably what you were intending to do. Talk me through it. Uh, yeah, you know, there were several things going into my mind before uh, before the fight and even the, the night of the fight, even right when I'm in the ring, you know, I'm looking at Diaz. I didn't see his eyes so scattered. Uh, I had a, a bolt of confidence right before the first bell rung. I had this feeling in my heart that this man doesn't want to be in front of you, Keith, and there's nothing that this man can do to take the title from you tonight. Um, just do your job, handle your business, and be the beast that you that you trained yourself to be. Um, I wanted to prove to the world of boxing, for those who are really in tune with the world of boxing, that Keith Thurman is not Sean Porter and Keith Thurman is not Amir Khan and how they would accomplish that in three rounds. It was a very impressive performance, the body shot which did it. Did you realize that you'd hurt Diaz that badly to the body? No, I knew that. I knew that in the, um, I knew two things. One was, I don't know if I've ever squeezed my gloves with more intention besides that Julio Diaz fight. I wanted him to feel every single punch that I was hitting him with. Um, I heard in an interview that he said that every punch was a hard punch. Um, it's nice to hear a fighter um, admit that, you know, that he could feel every single one of my punches. But every single one of my punches were coming at him with intention to hurt him. And so in the third round, after I gave him um, the knockdown to the head in the second round, um, a lot of times when you knock people down to the head, they tend to protect their head a little bit more. So because of that, I said, now's the time to go to the body, and you can hurt the body just like you hurt the head. And I know I threw the most body shots in that third round, and I was squeezing my gloves, like I was saying, with, with bad intentions. And I felt plenty of body shots, but I figured because he didn't go down, but when I sat down in the um, at the end of the third round, I thought I was going to have to get up for a fourth. But the funny thing is, when I sat down, I said, Keith, what's going on? I thought the fight would be over. I mean, this man should be in pain. You know, he should be experiencing pain. You landed plenty of shots with bad intentions. And um, I said, oh, well, you know, let's just enjoy the show. The fans will enjoy the show. Let's, let's just have more fun, and let's make him experience more pain. And the next thing I know, the fight's being called off, you know. So it was, it was really ironic for me. And um, to just be stopped in that manner um, was somewhat disappointing for me because because I had to sit down and I was breathing in between rounds. I was, I was starting to look forward to seeing the next three minutes of the show. And I'm pretty sure the rest of the fans were as well. And to know that my performance is semi-disappointing for the fans, just disappoints me, you know. Um, my performance was great. I dominated the whole fight. My team's happy. I'm happy. But at the end of the day, I'd love to make the fans happy. But the show ended the way that it did, and we move on to the next one. Diaz made a big thing about, oh, well, you know, Keith Thurman, who's he really knocked out, and he's not really much of a big puncher. Did those comments anger you, or did that motivate you more to go out there and want to get the stoppage? Ah, oh, man, every fighter has to talk their talk, man. You got to talk your talk. You got to walk the walk and fight your fight, you know. So, you know, he, he stated whatever is on his mind and whatever is his opinion about me. But nobody knows me. Nobody knows me. There's very few people in the world who really know who Keith Thurman is, who's been around me my whole career, seen me come up in uh, the state of Florida throughout the amateurs and the pros. The first time I knocked out a grown man, I was 13 years old. You know, people, people don't know Keith Thurman. You can have all the opinions of the world, and I don't even need to knock people out. It's really nice to make people go to sleep, but it's not my job to make you go to sleep. It's my job to make you feel physical pain. That's my job. My job is to hurt you, and I can hurt you. I mean, a knockout really doesn't hurt. You go to sleep. Do you hurt when you go to sleep at night? No, nah, you're going to wake up, and you're going to feel the pain, but the knockout doesn't hurt nobody, you know. The devastating blows to the head and the devastating blows to the body that do have power to them, you know, you, as long as you're conscious, you know the damage that you just took. Um, you know, and when you hit the sweet spot, which I call the uh, the temples um, and the chin, when you hit, when you touch the sweet spot, um, it sends a shock through the human body. It really does. I've been rocked um, several times in uh, professional fights, and you know it, it happens, man, because the human body is designed a certain way.
blunt pressure to certain points on the human body. It's going to make the leg buckle. It's going to make your head, uh, it's going to rock your brain a little bit. And that's just a sport, man. Everybody's subject to um, those kind of punches in the Absolutely. game of boxing. Absolutely. Now, in terms of Diaz hitting you, did you feel any of his power? Uh, no, nah, you know, he had, he had some nice hands. You know, they're not the softest uh, punches in the world or anything like that, but they were nothing. They didn't they didn't um, hit the radar that made me say, whoa, watch out, you know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, because they're not soft, if you hit the button precise, if you, like I said, if you apply enough pressure to the right part, you know, it can still rock you. It can still wobble you and, you know, put you in a little bit of danger. And everybody's subjectable to that. So, you know, I just wanted to um, avoid um, devastating right hands and left hooks. And my trainer was constantly telling me to keep my hands up. But after a certain point, I put my hands down on purpose in the fight. I was feeling real comfortable. And I was also trying to bait him in. I was, I was there waiting to fight, ready to fight, and I wanted to see how bad he wanted to fight. So it is what it is. I, I enjoy myself in that ring every single time. 